the Revo Point Morocco. If you guys remember from a previous video, I've been waiting to get my hands on this thing for a while now, and Revo Point sent me one. So, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a game changer for like making cosplays and armor. So, let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank, and today we're going over the Revo Point Morocco 3D scanner. This is an all in one handheld scanner. It's the computer, the screen, the scanner, whatever. You don't have to plug it into your computer, though you can, but this is, it's, it's like a Game Boy or a, a, a Steam Deck. I just dated myself real bad right there. Anyway, let's get this thing unboxed and start looking at what it comes with, and we're just gonna start scanning stuff. Probably you. Here it is. It's 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 gorgeous. This is uh, I'm I'm so excited. Um, I think they sent me the the, the pro version. Uh, I don't think there's anything different on the unit, but it comes with more stuff. It comes with a tripod, cool little carrying case. Obviously, it comes with a charger and a uh, Type C USB cable. This is a little um, test scan to like learn how to use it. It comes with a little turntable with a cable. A very odd choice. The um, the charging block they give you has two USB C's in it to actually charge the unit, but the turn table here has a standard USB so you still need a different USB plug to it'd be cool if like it was just an all-in-one thing and I could like you know do that to start scanning it it comes with a strap um, would have been really nice to see this be able to screw into something else like on the side of it instead of the bottom because now I need to sacrifice the tripod but the tripod's actually really handy for uh, holding it and like using it like a selfie stick uh, because in case you guys didn't know look it folds up. Uh, this is what I was using at Rapid. I was actually able to 3D scan my whole head, like just right here, awesome. Um, so it comes with a bunch of different little things. You guys can tell them, so I'm so excited about this thing. Um, it comes with a bunch of different little scan mats for clarity, the little stickers, the little, the far mode, near mode. It comes with, it comes with all the stuff you'd expect in a scanner, but let's just get this thing powered on and just start trying to scan something. So right when you power it on, it's going to take you through a whole setup tutorial and it's gonna show you what different buttons do and kind of give you the breakdown of the user interface. It's It can seem a little bit overwhelming, but usually just putting stuff on auto, enabling color mode, um, and it gives you a really good little range at the top. You can see those little bars right there. Uh, as I get near and far to the camera, you can see the camera starting to pop up right there, and it's giving you that distance. It has a near and a far mode. Um, we're gonna switch it to near mode because I wanna scan this little guy down here. We're gonna take it off the tripod because I think this is just too tall. And uh, we're just gonna let this rotate. I'm gonna try to hold this right here. And we are in excellent condition. I didn't think this through. We're gonna cut to me being done. So this is what I'm seeing from my side. Look at that. So we have the scan. I already have the scan done here, um, but I just want to show you what the screen looks like as it's interacting with the model. And there's a play feature, a pause feature, but we're just going to go through and process this. And there it is on the screen. So we'll go to the model and you have the raw data. You can zoom into the point cloud. We can't select that yet, but let's do, uh, let's just do one tap edit. And it's gonna give us a two minute version or a detailed version. Well, I think I got a pretty good scan of that. So let's let, let's let the detailed version run. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, that's a little low. Let me just raise the desk up. Man, don't you wish you had a height adjustable desk? I know I sure did. Today's video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. Desk go up, desk go down. No, the desk cannot shake it all around. But it has made my workspace a lot more comfortable. Uh, you guys can't see it, but there's a desk behind you. It is janky and rickety, and I can read. You hear that? You hear all that? You hear that stuff shaking? Yeah, that's bad. We don't want that. Look at this. Look at look at how sturdy this thing is. It's solid. This is the E7L standing desk that FlexiSpot sent me because, well, I needed a new desk, and the bills ain't gonna pay themselves. And it it goes lower. It 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 goes lower than this. Just just it's no lower. Yep. Yeah, nope. Oh. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, 
This was, this is just, this is just too, this is too low. This, I didn't like that. So it has a bunch of presets and I have them set. So this is the, this is, this is my preset right here. This is great. This is a 28 in case anybody's wondering. This is my standing height and honestly pretty comfortable, especially working on my computer all day, either editing videos or going through footage or sending emails or just planning, recording, doing all that. Sitting in a chair all day is not, is not very comfortable. So sometimes it's nice to just kind of, you know, stretch, stretch the little peepers and just kind of, you know, hey, work. You can put in a bunch of presets over here on the control pad. It actually does go taller than this, but it, it started hitting um, it started hitting stuff on the wall. Honestly, there's not much more to talk about when it comes to this thing. The website offers tons of options and colors and accessories. They gave me this really cool little light LED kit and mouse pad. There's tons of little other things you can get as well. If you guys are interested in getting yourself your own standing desk, because hey, it's actually pretty comfortable and really well built, definitely check out flexispot.com. Use this discount code to save a little bit of money and uh, I'll see you at the next one. Yeah. Sure. Bye. Thanks, Lexi Spot, for sponsoring the video. All right, here is the finished data. And this is the textured version. You can go to the mesh, you can go to the fused. But look, look at that. That came out. I missed a little bit under the chin, uh, the under the eyes, and then a little bit on top. But it was a real quick scan. But like... This came out really good. It, it, it's that, I mean, it worked. It worked really well, but you know what? This isn't why I'm excited about this. I want to scan myself. I want to scan something in the room and I want to see if I can maybe scan one of my suits. Okay, so for those of you that never saw the video, this is actually an old 3D scan of my head. It is haunting i think i did this on an old revo point or maybe my phone i don't know but i want to scan my head again and see the quality difference because i still have this model and we can drop it in the computer and kind of just compare and contrast what it looks like and how much easier it was to do So that works really well. Yikes. So it didn't get the full scan because dark things like my hair, I need to wear a, like a bald cap or um, some type of beanie or something. That's what I had to do for the old one. But that got so much more data than the old scan. Enjoy your nightmares. Moving on. Look at that. Like I could have done a little bit of better work on the feet, but oh my God, that did such a good job. Whoa. Okay, so I'm not surprised it didn't do a great job um, because 3D scanners just don't like dark colors but it did actually get some of it. I think if I had just adjusted the lighting or blasted the lighting from different angles, um, it definitely would have gotten it. It actually captured some of the back wall. Obviously I can go and plane cut that and get rid of all that stuff. But like this took, what? This is two minutes of me just messing around and now I, I don't know, could be better, but it, it still did it. Okay, we got a couple scans off and it works exactly how I was expecting it to. Obviously there is a little learning curve. You're gonna have to be steady. If I was scanning myself, I'd probably have somebody else do it for an even higher quality scan. Now I can take this on the road and go to conventions. And if a friend wants a commission or somebody wants me to print them something, I can literally go and just scan them now. I don't need to lug around a, another scanner with wires and a laptop or whatever. I can go to a con and just scan things. And you can also hook it up to your computer, the, the user interface. This is probably the easiest user interface of a 3D scanning program I have ever used. Sometimes they're rough. This one is very clearly laid out and you can use your computer's processing power, you know, to help the, the, the data and everything render faster. Um, there is one thing I don't like about the connectivity to the computer, but we'll go over that in a second. But PC mode is great. You can see here, it's, uh, let's do that. Yeah, oh, look, look, it's scanning. The, um, the actual screen stays in a default, like, hey, you're in PC mode. So if I wanna use the computer's power to scan, I, I can't look at the screen. I'm stuck looking at the computer and it just, 
it's not it's not great even if even if you didn't have fold display just even a camera with this little bar right here that shows you you're near or far that'd be perfect i don't know if, if there's a way to do that because now it, it's it's a scanner without i don't know that would just make it a lot easier that this way i could focus but if i'm constantly if i'm having to do this it's just it's not easy i'd rather just unplug it and then just use the scanner itself and then hook it up to process the the uh the point cloud so that's my only complaint with it because like i love this thing okay so i could go on and on about this thing i like it um revo point did send this to me to test and start you know using a new iron man and cosplay builds and it's exactly what i was expecting it to be after playing with it at rapid i mean they delivered the exact same thing it's been out for a little while obviously oh i'm so sorry oh no Oh no, we gotta fix that. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, it does have more features than I went over the, between the single photo mode and then the batch processing. It has Wi-Fi. Like there are tons of features on this thing. But what I needed it for was it just to work out a box, let me scan things, get them on the computer, and that entire process was easy. There is a link down below uh, if you guys are interested in this thing. It is an affiliate link. It does help support the channel. You don't need to use the affiliate link if you're still gonna buy it. Totally up to you. Um, but like. That's it, that's the scanner, and uh, hopefully it works for you guys. If you guys like what we saw in the video, please consider subscribing to the channel, this way you stay up to date on everything I have coming out, and you can see secret projects once they're not secret, and other tutorials and builds and all that fun stuff. So yeah, hit subscribe. But it is Wednesday night, I need to wrap this up and start prepping for Anime NYC. I fly out to New York tomorrow, so uh, if you're gonna be there, um, well, this video comes out while I'm there, so maybe you're there at the same time. Anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and you have a good day.